Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I made a tiny tent. I did intend to make it all in one day, uh, but I decided to start making it 3pm and also completely forgot about the concept of drying time. It ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I began by making the frame using toothpicks, matchsticks and a load of hot glue. It was at this point that I realised why my parents rarely let me live out my art attack dreams of paper mache everything in sight. This was a mess, but it was so fun. It took a lot of trial and error to get the coverage and drapery fabric effect that I wanted. I started with white tissue paper and painted it black and then I remembered I also have black tissue paper so I used that for the second coat. My original idea was to make a black and white stripe tent, but I was not in the mood to be calculating the widths of stripes. So I painted it dark purple before dry brushing all the details with a lighter purple. Also did a black wash to dirty it up a bit. I 
By this point, I had decided to make this a witchy tent. The ancient heart of a fortune teller that you'd stumble across got lost in the woods. That kind of vibe. So it was only right to fancy it up a little bit. I kept the tent like this for a few days and realised it needed something more. So I picked up this log slice from Hobbycraft and I splashed out on some bits from Woodland Scenics. Making this terrain was the most excited I've been making something in a long time. I thought the grass looked a bit bare, so I made some of the smallest mushrooms in existence from polymer clay. I did burn them in the oven a bit, but it actually made them more mushroomy. So perfect. So, I left the project for a while longer than intended and a few things happened in the meantime. Firstly, since the weather has gotten colder, my flat has become very damp and mould started growing on any wood in the vicinity, which meant a lot of my projects went mouldy. I had to wipe off any mould from the project, which meant that a lot of the grass came with it. Secondly, I am clumsy. The first time I dropped the hut, the earring charm fell off the top. The next time I dropped it, I lost some of the pathway under the sofa. Then I bought a Dremel and wanted to try it out, so I drilled a hole in the base of my project so that I could install an LED light shining up into the tent. So now we're all caught up, let's repair some damages. I've had this crystal ball charm bracelet charm for a long time and it was the perfect size for the tent. Now for a regrassing to cover up the places I had to destroy to get rid of the mould. I 
I wanted the heart to look like it was rooted into the ground because it had been standing there for so long, so I covered the heart in flocking to simulate moss growth. To make it look even more grounded, I added coarse flocking to any gaps underneath the edges of the tent. And so, the one day project that ended up spanning three months is complete. Which you